So you could just be minding your business on the internet one day and boom, Jada Kingdom and Steph London are trending. For what reason? Now I'm going to give you guys a full breakdown on the backstory behind the whole chaos you see today. Now, hit the subscribe button guys and let's get started. If you're new here, this is the recap and here I'll be giving you guys the whole school behind your regular pop culture and basically world culture. So my name is HRM, hit the subscribe button, let's get started quickly. Now, um, for starters, Jada Kingdom is like a very big star, celebrity and social star in um, Jamaica. And I've done a little research and I've noticed that um, she's quite revered. She's into swimsuits, she's into music, she's into basically celebrity lifestyle. I did a little research on the internet and um, gathering the social media insights I've seen so far, I've noticed that Jada Kingdom seems to be a, quite a big catch in um, Jamaica, yep, and yes, there are still some little affiliations with her that also makes her a notable name. And then Steph London, for people who are in Africa, Nigeria specifically, most of us may have encountered um, Steph London in different ways. For me, for example, I first heard name Steph London through her um, song, that is the song featuring um, French Montana, Horton. And I think I really love the song basically. But some other people have also encountered um, Steph London through her relationship with Burner Boy. You know, Burner Boy is quite one of the biggest selling African musicians today. So the relationship, I think it was a three year relationship or whatever they had then, may have also introduced some people to Steph London. Of course, Steph London is also a big name in Jamaica because of her, her, you know, her background, her roots. But she's also domiciled in the UK. You know, she's a big star over there as well and won a couple of awards so these two names jada kingdom and steph london so why are they trending and why are they going at it a little context quickly now for some people who know brother boy and jada um, and steph london were in a relationship i think three years ago or so then things went a bit rocky and they broke up now for this reason brother boy documented the heartbreak and that is hit song called last last yes it is supposedly reportedly about steph london's relationship his relationship with steph london and you know if you listen very well you would know if you were following the relationship i'm sure you guys would have seen a whole lot of that outpour in the last last song basically and yeah you wanted to wife her or whatever but whatever he was saying didn't work out at that moment now during the break, you know, the break between you know, when the, the whole thing went off their relationship, Brenner Boy went on tour, you know, visiting countries, singing and, and promoting his new album, I Told Them. And that was also the album that featured Taliban 2, the one featuring Byron Me Messiah. Yeah, I believe that's the pronunciation of his name. So that Taliban 2 remix was a very big song, and Brenner Boy did something right there. He named dropped Jada Kingdom. Who was this Jamaican celebrity I spoke earlier? Name dropped her and said the whole lot of things that I don't want to mention here, but you guys can listen to it here. Yeah. So, exactly. So he name drops Jada Kingdom, and that is one of the first places I get to experience who Jada Kingdom is because there were a whole lot of rumors circulating, even, you know. Brenner Boy was in a relationship with Jada Kingdom at that moment, which she debunked. She debunked it as well that they were not in a relationship. And she was basically, she didn't really, she didn't establish any relationship with Brenner Boy. Even when people asked that question, like, are you guys dating or whatever, she didn't give credibility to that news. Then, fast forward, I also think I've heard Jada Kingdom, you know, she's dating, I think she's currently dating Patterson. Paddington, which is um, or who is um, Megan the Stallion's ex-boyfriend, basically. I remember there was an affiliation there. Although some of the social media insights I've gotten from comment sections and everything suggest that she may have also had some relationship with um, previous stars, big stars as well. So yes, Jada Kingdom is not a new name to some people, but some people might also have been just experiencing her from this whole chaos, you know, today. Now, let's get back to the beef, the whole diss track. So, sometime this week, 
Steph London drops the diss track. Oh no! There, there was a rumored reunion between Burner Boy and Steph London because the lady got a birthday present that is a Rose Rush Cullinan and it was. It got to shoot me there in the friends. People were asking, are you back with your man? Is it Brenner Boy that got a present? There were some subtle hints that suggested Brenner Boy God had this present. That is, and they were back together. But none of them have actually come forward to give credibility and establish the truth if they are back together. So they were just suggestions. However, we all know that, in, that someone got Steph London a present, a Rolls Royce present. For her birthday so yes some suggestions again say that brenner boy got out of prison and they're back together fast forward to this week she drops a song called i think that and that and throws subtle shades at whoever then on jada kingdom's instagram she comes forward you know to confront these shades and says you know tell stuff london if you're talking to me call my name you know some of these some of the things mentioned in Stephen those songs are not things I want to mention here basically but they were pretty messy but she didn't mention any name so they were subliminal uh, what's it called and you know this is disrespect and things like that so um, I believe that Jada Kingdom you know took it upon herself to go on a social media uh, frenzy as well you know calling out things and Dropping a track as well. Now the track is one very interesting thing I want to say because um, the track where she replies Steph London seems very very witty and very smart. I must say yes. I mean it's going to give social media guys a whole lot of bread <laughs> to chew on. You know she references Taliban remix in the same song where Bernard Boy shouts out Jada Kingdom. Remember during the breakup. Between Burner Boy and Steph London. There was a break, there was a long holiday between both of them. And you know, man went on tour and there was a believed, you know, temporary kind of uh, flame between Burner Boy and Jada Kingdom, which made him shout her out in the song Taliban Remix. If you're listening again, I'm gonna play the game for you guys. Pay attention. Yes, he said she has the biggest, whatever, the biggest, the best, you know, in whole Kingston. That is, Kingston, I think Kingston is the capital of Jamaica, if I'm correct. Um, I need to sit in Jamaica, basically. Jamaican guys, please pardon me. I'm just, I'm doing a lot of research. Tell me I'm doing better. We're going to get better at it. Yeah, and um, basically, the whole thing now comes together because Jada Kingdom, in her response to... Steph London samples the same lyrics, Burner Boy's lyrics. I believe that is a very great this, if you ask me, and it kind of like echoes Sun Tzu's Art of War. That if you know yourself and you know your enemy, you need not fear the outcome of a thousand battles. So I believe, looking at the whole thing, I would say that, of course, the two ladies are going to cash out very well. I mean, their streaming numbers will smile very well this week. And Jada Kingdom has dropped an um, heart. Let me give you guys, so for some of us who are new to, say, Patwa, some of us got into, some of us who are Africans, got introduced to the Patwa, that is the, the lingo in Jamaica, um, through, or the nativized version of English in Jamaica, through reggae, through Bob Marley, through Sean Paul, and the rest of them, and um, Beanie Man. So, uh, you know, and of course, Buju Banton, so some of us are not going to be very familiar with this path forward that you know Steph London and um and what's it called and um, Jada Kingdom are actually dropping on their songs. So you may want to pay attention very well because it seems way advanced, way way advanced, and I think it's more street cultured. So if you're not in the background, you may not listen. You may not know. I have to even slow. The pace so listen carefully and in jada kingdom's response the title of the song is um london bear she did a whole lot of messy and nasty work whoa did a whole lot of reference you know called out steph london said a lot of messy things about her past which i don't want to mention i don't want to go into details guys but it was really messy you know said a whole lot about 
cosmetic surgeries said a whole lot about um, going to even to family you know so they're very messy but i believe that this probably this could be a stunt as well so fans should not probably be too emotional about it these are two very successful women and um, i believe that they will come around but the streaming numbers have to be right so anything for anything for i don't want to see clouds but anything for attention that can you know get streaming numbers up yeah 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 so basically guys that is what happened that is the backstory behind this whole data kingdom versus Stefan Don. but if there's anything you probably want to say i would say the two ladies actually beyond the physical covey and whatever they are very good musicians actually they they're good they're very artistic so you don't want to take that out of the picture the only problem with this kind of um publicity is that it removes the artist from the arts and you start seeing them as messy human beings so like guys thank you very much for this recap it's just me trying to break it down to help you guys understand what is going on around you please hit the subscribe button we are starting a new kind of content which is called recap here my name is hrm and i get to help you guys understand pop culture and all that kind of culture including government politics and the rest of it thank you very much guys once again hit the subscribe button we're trying to grow this channel and spread it share with your friends cheers see you soon